you know, you've had a couple of people in, in, in different conversations you've had recently who refer to you as the Jay-Z of Chicano hip hop. Yeah. I'm, you, do you remember that? Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. How, do you, that, how does man. that statement hit you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to be anything like that, man, or just uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. You know, I do the music for you guys and uh, I'm hoping you guys like it and everything. So if you're going to call me that one, then I guess you guys like it, man. So that's a, that's a, that's a great thing, man. And, uh, you know, and that's what I do it for anyways, man. I show people the good time, hoping you're bumping my music and, uh, and uh, you know, this past round that I've been doing with all these shows with uh, MC Magic, man, shout out to him and D and Baby Bash. And uh, we've been rocking these shows for the past four or five years now. And um, I've had nothing to give the fans in a long time. And they've always wondered where my music's at now. And uh, so that's why I decided to, uh, you know, put out this newest album, Alta the Bueno. And uh, because they went, they, they wanted something, man. You know what I mean? So I just thought I'd give it to them and shit, you know? I mean, you stay on the road all the time. You, you're touring. Oh, man, I'm so constantly. tired, big dog. I'm so tired, man. But it's cool, you know? California could be re- California could be really territorial just as a state, you know? It's a huge, it's yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah. most of the coast. Like, do you ever run into being from Southern California, run to different challenges and I don't know. Oh, yeah, man, California, yeah, but... yeah, for a minute, man. I was, I was, you know, when we put out the music and everything and try to get it played uh, in different p- parts of Cali, like North, Northern Cali or whatever, uh, you know, even in San Diego, man, like uh, even people hate, like sometimes, man, they don't want you being played. So they might call in some threats or whatever. Like you play that shit, you know, like whatever it is, man. It's like, damn, man, you know what I mean? Like, but you know, man, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm cool, dude. And I, I don't, I don't got no bad blood or hate towards nobody, man. And, uh, you know, I've done a couple of shows up in, uh, up North, North California, man. And, uh, you know, just to try to prove that we can um, all come together and have a good time. And, it didn't really go that way, you know? It didn't really go that way those couple times, man. So, you know, so nowadays you might find, um, you know, these shows that we're doing, I don't go past uh, Fresno or, you know, or up, up upstate like that to to perform, even though I want to, man. I want to prove prove it wrong and, 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 and show that we can have a good time, man. I'm not there for no, for no drama, you know what I mean? I'm there to show the people a good time like I've been doing, man, and that's all I'm about, man. So, um, but unfortunately, we just try to, you know, not throw shows out there with me on them because it's kind of a liability if something were to happen to somebody, and uh, which I don't want, you know. I don't want nothing happening to me, obviously, but I also don't want no, nothing happening to nobody else in the crowd either, you know, and, you know, get involved with some kind of dumb stuff over some, you know, dumb shit, you know what I mean? Um, it sounds like you've had some some experiences. You, you said... Yeah, man, I've been booed many times. I've had, you know, bottles thrown at me and, you know. You had bottles thrown at and you? And things like that, man. But, but but it's all love. And I just like, man, dude, like, you know. Well, I mean, And then like, I guess that's what caused, like, the whole, like, not performing uh, up north. But but I got love for everybody, man. I got a lot of friends in San Jose, dude. You know, like, um, you know, they don't, they don't be doing that kind of stuff. They don't be causing any kind of trouble. They're just my, my friends, man, good people, business people and stuff. You know what I mean? And, uh. That's where my label's from, um, and uh, hey man, that the, they've been good to me my whole fucking uh, career with them, man. You know, became my best friends and everything, man, and they won't refuse to let me fall, you know. So I got some good people in my corner, dude. It just feels like, cause I'm, you know, I'm someone who grew up on the other side of the country. I grew up in the south and and the east coast, and yeah. you know, I just it just seems like just things people know about California and after living here for 10 years, I've even experienced, you know, through friends of mine or family of mine out here, Yeah, you know, that, yeah, it would make sense to me that someone from one part of California might run into, I guess, as you said, to have a bottle thrown at you in a, in a yeah, show. Yeah. Like, what happened with that? What, what was the situation? Uh, just a, a show in San Francisco um, uh, at the Low Rider show. And uh, they had me go up there, man, and wear a bulletproof vest. The cops had, the cops were there, they may put on a bulletproof vest for this, which, Kind of glad they did, eh? Because uh, otherwise, the bottles probably would have hurt, you know. But uh, the, instead, they bounced off me, you know. But uh, you know, someone came up and threw a cup of soda on me, and it was dripping off my my brain and shit, man. And uh, but I just continued to rock it, you know. It, it didn't it didn't uh, didn't phase me like that, man. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't there for anything, any kind of drama. I didn't throw my mic down and say fuck this or anything like that, man. I was I just continued with my my two jams and I took off, you know what I mean? Do you think it was because of, you know, 
you just being from San Diego? Yeah, I think that's part of just what it is, man. That people have a uh, a way of looking at me from from being from down south or whatever. But in reality, man, I just don't understand, you know, what's going on with all that, you know. But uh, I mean, I get it. I get it to a certain extent, but uh, but not, nah, man. I come in peace, man, and I just uh, repping that brown pride, dude. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about. And I'm not out there hanging around with anybody that's, you know, starting any shit with anybody or, or doing anything like that, man. So if you're that kind of person, I kind of kind of stay away from you, you know what I mean? And uh, regardless, man, so, but um, but yeah, I learned a lot, man, through all those, all those times and, you know, to, to absolutely go through that and, and uh, kind of find out how much people can't stand me if they're throwing shit at me, right? <laughs> but, you know, but, but continue through it and rock right through it, man. And, uh, you know, so it's a, it's a trip, man. You know, it's a trip, you know. But I'm not out there to prove any point. I just trying to have, try to have everybody come and have a good time, you know. That's that's what it is, man. And um, and prove the whole thing wrong where we could just, you know, I'll just perform. I'm not talking no shit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you end up um, going to Japan. Yeah, I went out there about four times now. And from what I understand, in Japan, they love Chicano culture. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's been a long time since I've been out there. I think I went out there in like 2005 or something. And I went to Okinawa like, uh, I think, three times. And then I did a five-city tour in like Tokyo and other areas around there, man. So um, that was kind of a trip, you know? What was it like? Were they, you know, there. were they into low rider culture? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure, dog. You How know? did it look? How did it feel? Yeah, no, they looked like... Fuck it. They look like me. I was like, what the fuck? What's up, man? You know? But um, but they didn't really know like what I was saying at the time. And this is like 2005, man, or something like that, dude. So uh shit. Come to come to uh like present time. Oh man, I mean they got some badass rides out there now, man. They got some badass shit. These are cruising their fucking cars to the town and uh, and I see more uh Chicano like things going on out there through the through the internet now. But I've, it's been a long time since I've been there though. But um, it was already happening back then, and right now it's probably even more, man. You know, there, there's a story. I saw you tell a story about seeing a Japanese guy with Chicano tatted on his. Oh brain. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, he fucking a little rough, but but you know the way that the, the way he was communicating with me was different, so I didn't understand. And he just lifted up his shirt right here and fucking had a big old Chicano on his stomach. They were like, God damn, all right, fuck, man. I don't even have that. What the fuck, you know? Like, so. Uh, so it was kind of a trip, man. But uh, yeah, it was cool, man. Real cool. They treated me well out there, and it was good, man. A, a long flight, though, man. You know, a long flight to get out there, and a long flight to get back. And and uh, but it was cool. It was a good experience for me to go out there and do that, man. Were you surprised to see how much they were embracing your culture? Oh yeah, I was way surprised, man. Way surprised. You know, I wish I could talk to them more. I wish I knew Japanese so I could talk to them a little bit more. You know what I mean? But uh, but uh, but yeah, it was cool though. Real real good time, man. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like again you're real, you're super prolific, right? You're dropping albums for at least once every, on average, every two years for about twenty years. Uh, in 2014, you released "Recording in Progress," and then you go on hiatus, and then you know now you're back with "All to the Bueno," but it's been nine years since you released a, a full length. What's been what's been happening? Yeah, just uh, I guess you know I was, I was recording uh, uh, "Recording in Progress," man, and. Uh... You know, uh, out in San Jose, I was uh, staying out there, man, and I was um, recording that. And I don't know, we just kind of did that that album, and uh, it didn't really do too much. Or I don't know if we just didn't promote it right or didn't do anything with it, whatever. But it was just something that I did put together and everything, man. And uh, and just like life, just life was handing me some uh, some bad things at the time, you know. And uh, and um, I guess it just threw off my. Uh, my vibe, you know what I mean? I guess, I don't know. That's not like I quit or nothing like that, man. It was just kind of like my vibe wasn't there. So I was kind of like just living life and just uh, living day by day and trying to get through it, you know what I mean? It sounds like, you know, on things that you've shared so far that, you know, one, you always kept another job, even while you're writing raps. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Right. yeah, yeah, for sure. You've emphasized uh, several times how you do it for the love. Oh, were, yeah, yeah. Were you writing rhymes over this nine year period with when you weren't releasing music were you still creating and maybe just not putting it out yeah i was still creating i was still writing here and there man I, but it was the you know like you know how we're gonna do this you know like even like all to the bueno after coming out you know 
what almost 10 years later uh from RIP you know um you know um that's a lot of you know driving and uh putting on instrumentals in the car and writing and writing my raps and just practicing them so over like years I mean I just I, I developed all these jams you know that I just that I had that I knew were keepers you know um and so that's where also the bueno came from man I just kind of like and me and fingers were just going to put it out you know just give something to the fans you know what I mean I called them up and said hey man I want to do this this thing so just me and him we're going to put it out no label involved or whatever you know nothing just just throw it out but then uh you know um but I'm good. I'm good friends with uh, John Lopez from Upstairs Records, man. And we got other businesses going on, and and uh, so he's my business partner and everything, man. So you know, he's all, let's do it, man. So, no brainer, let's do it, man. Cause we, you know, we make money together, and and that was just the right thing to do. And um, came together with the team, you know, and uh, and put this album out. You know what I mean? It seems like there must have been something that you know ended up being positive. I mean, you talked about you're going through some rough patches oh, yeah, in yeah. that nine year period. But if you came out with an album, you put out a project, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, like, hey man, can't keep a good man down, big dog, you know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes it's like, fuck man, you know, it, it got a little rough, man. Like, fuck dude, like, I, I don't understand what's going on, you know, with my life and everything. But um, hey man, I just, uh, just kept on moving like I've always been doing, you know what I mean? Like I say, I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get through everything just like I always do, you know what I mean? And uh, that's just kind of what I got to do, man. I got to just keep on moving. I, I got, I, uh, I've had bad people come into my life all the time, man. You just got to fucking weed them out, dog, and just keep fucking moving straight, man, and and keep moving with or without them. You know what I mean? And uh, and that's just kind of what kept me going, man. You know? Yeah. So, but a lot of bad things too, man. I just didn't understand, like, you know, how someone could hate me so much over music or whatever, you know. But you know. You, did you have an incident or did something I specific just, happen? I mean, yeah, just things, just just things. I've you know fight, fighting a lot, dude. You, know, you know, over 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 that. You know what I mean? But no one really hears about it because I never really talked about it. Like I say, it's not it's not everybody. It's a few knuckleheads maybe that you know just want to prove a point and everything, man. I, I remember I remember back in the days, one of my primos, man. Like you know, even this way back in the days, he wanted to mess up somebody. I forget just to do it, just to say he did it. You know what I mean? So that you know, always, you know, carried with me where, hey man, someone's gonna wanna run up and do that shit to me just because they, they wanna say they did that shit, you know what I mean? And uh, and it's happened, yeah, a couple times, many times, you know? Yeah. A few times, man, so, so that could throw you off a little bit, you know what I mean? And throw off your vibe and everything, man, so, um, but other than that, man, it's just, it just it just throws off my vibe for a little bit, then I'm right back at it. I feel like if there's there's a, you know, just from a macro standpoint, you know, some of the things that you already described in this conversation, just north and south, like, you know, sueños, norteños, you know. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. just that energy supersedes even individuals in California in a lot of ways. Just like you see that with, you know, Bloods or Crips, or you see that with, you know, just different, you know, different different organizations like that. You know? Yeah, and I'm more like, you know, as long as you respect me, and you know, and I respect you, and it's a, it's a mutual respect, and, you know, that's all it is, man, just... It's respect, man. That's it, man. I, I never go to a place and and not like the place is mine or walk through it like it's mine or or, or thinking I'm badass or nothing like that. Never, man. Always a respect thing, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just kind of what that is, man. So I mean, no disrespect to nobody, you know. And, and I know what I look like and and uh, and how I rock it and shit, man. But uh, but now nah, I don't mean no disrespect to nobody ever, man. And uh, carry myself with a lot of respect. And I've I've, I've run into some bad people and I've run into some. Good people, man, that, that that have met me and uh take the time to be like, Okay, man, this is cool, man, you know what I mean? And uh he ain't about that shit, you know what I mean? And I ain't about that shit, you know. Man, I'm just like busy with uh, you know, uh obviously with this new album now and my, my family and and the other uh other obligations I got with uh with my boy John, other things that I got going on with him and so I'm just busy doing all that stuff, man. Trying to trying to make sure I make it home every night. You know what I'm saying? That Gotta like make a, it home, man. Gotta make it home, dude. You know? That sounds like another good thing that happened. You know, your family. Your family came. Oh out. yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her and uh and uh yeah, she's pretty much uh, changed my life, man, you know. She changed my life, pretty much saved my life. I thought I was gonna die where I was at, you know, pretty soon. You know, if it was a, if it was gonna happen then, it was gonna happen sometime because fuck, man, I've uh you know, been through some things where, you know, they're really uh 
It seems like they don't want me around and shit, man. But uh, but I'm not like that, man. So it's, you know, so she pretty much I think saved my life, man. And fucking uh, got her pregnant with my baby boy, dude. And uh, and now he's hitting the stage with me now, man. Just turned five, and uh, you know, just a, a big blessing in my life. And uh, now I just gotta make sure that I'm there for him and make sure that everybody uh, make sure that he sees how much everybody like respects me as a man, dude, and uh, and and how I treat people, you know, wherever I go and to always be a good kid and uh, and treat people well, man, you know? Do you think you were always like that? Like, I was a, do you think your, your experiences might have helped put this frame of mind that you have now? I think everything I've been through, man, just kind of like, I've always been cool like that, though. I've always been cool and cool with people and stuff, you know, like, never had a problem like that, man, you know? It, was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a real crazy life like that, like that, even though, I mean, I did get shot. I mean, that's pretty crazy, but like, you know, most people don't get shot like that, but but I'm not saying it was crazy. I, I mean, I got through that, man. You know what I mean? And and uh, and uh, but every experience, man, through through everybody that I've met, even if even if we've had differences or whatever, you know, I don't hate nobody, man. I got no. It's not like I got bad blood with people, man. I just you know like, but if you've ever done me dirty, then you know I probably won't fuck with you again, man. That's just kind of what it is, and and uh, you know, there's no time for that. You know, I have, I have no time to let you do that to me twice, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's not gonna happen, man. So, you know, um, I don't forgot where I was at right now, but I get lost in my thoughts and shit, man. But, uh, but, um, but anyways, yeah, but uh, for my son to see how, many, how, how the people respect me and uh, and what I'm doing right now for everybody, man, the, the shows, I mean, everyone just has a good time and, and, uh, and I love that he can see that, man. So I'm hoping he treats everybody good and, and uh, grows up to be good people and, um, and, and does good things for people, man, wherever this life is going, man, whatever this world is going to right now. It's, I just hope the best for him and I'm trying to show him the best way. I think your new album, Alter Bueno, does a great job of balancing that, right? I mean, you've yeah. got, you know, you've got old records and that soul, of, they just both feel like quintessential what Lil Rob is about, feel good music, neighborhood music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've got, you know, moment in time and thank you, baby. That sounds like a very present, perspective that you have, or at least, you know, you've gotten to over the past nine years or the gaps between these two projects. Yeah, yeah. And then you have tracks like One and Done, where you're like, hey, if you you do me dirty. Why yeah, dude, and it's not just rappers, man. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm talking like that, but it's it's not just rappers, man. And, you know, like I said in uh, Hey There, Miss Brown, you know, it's like, uh, it's not just, uh, I forget what I say, man. Uh, it's not just uh, acquaintances, but also family. You know, family's done us dirty, man. Like fucking, whoa, man, I can't believe you did that shit, dog. And I, now you're out, you know what I mean? You're fucking out, dude, that's it. Um, so it just depends on uh, on what it is. And, you know, and if people that are being sneaky, well then, you know, they shouldn't be around you, man. You know what I mean? One of my friends in San Jose told me that, you know, they, they said, hey man, my dad always told me, man, if you can't, if you can't leave the room, and, and, uh, and leave your wallet and your girl in there with, with, with your boy or whatever like that. If you can't trust them, then they don't belong in your life, man. Like, you know what I mean? If you can't trust them with your wallet or your girl, fuck out, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, but um, that's just one little saying that he said, but uh, but yeah, I, might, so I, I, I don't got time for people being sneaky and, um, you know, and trying to do things behind my back or something like that, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, whatever it may be, man, like, you know, the, whatever, you know? You know, you're. I I think it's really it's really. I appreciate your humility. You know, you definitely have. You're revered in you know multiple communities. You're revered in hip hop. You're revered in where you're from, and um, you're revered globally. You know, for your music and yeah, 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 and everything you brought to the table. And you know, you get called the Jay Z of of Chicano rap, and like most compliments, you seem to, you know shake them off real quick and say thank you and keep it moving, you know. But I look at the career that you put together, right? I mean, this is 30 plus years, yeah. right? Um, you not only have uh, put out, what, five or six charting albums, you have, you know, top 40 songs, top 10 songs, you know what I mean? Um, and you've worked with so many other legends as well. You've worked with E-40, you know, you've worked with Nori, you know, you've worked with Game, Pitbull, Baby Bash, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, how do you, it, let's say from a, from an artist standpoint, MC standpoint, you know, a writer standpoint, 
Is it different when you're writing a song by yourself or when you're about to hop on a track with Paul Wall, for example? Like, do you, does your mind move a little differently? Um, yeah, well, I mean, it just, it, it's it, the way those uh, songs even came about, man, like the one with the game, um, that hit us up to do it. So then I wrote a, a like a 16 bar verse and I sent it back to them. So I wasn't really in the studio with like Paul Wall or, or a Crooked Eye or um, the game, you know what I mean? Or, or anybody, man. Uh, so we all kind of, well, I don't know if they sent their things and they must have too, but you know, so I wasn't in the studio with them, but um, just kind of sent my verse in, you know, and that's, and that's what it was. But uh, um, the other ones too, I mean, most of them are like that. Most of them are like that. Not, not really in the studio with them. The Julio Voltio one with, uh, with uh, him and Pitbull, uh, uh, Bumper, the Bumper song, man, we shot that video in uh, Miami. And uh, that was a real collaboration between uh, between us, but we weren't in the studio together, you know? But we just shot the video together, you know? Same thing with the Nori one, sent my verse in and um, they did what they did. And um, yeah, we shot the video together. So that was a real collaboration with them. Um, but some of them, some of them I, I don't even know. I, maybe I, I do a favor for like one of the producers I know, a friend of mine, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot him up, uh, do him a bottle real quick, man, and jump on a verse for somebody. And then that somebody will go get somebody else on the on the song too, you know, like like a busy bone or something like that. You, you might see that, but I I never knew busy bone was gonna be on the on the track, you know, with me and you know. I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker's gonna tear me up. Like, you're not gonna die down, you know. But um, but um, but to be in the studio with people now, I haven't really I haven't really done that with with all these guys, you know. Yeah. Does it, it does it feel cool to say that you work with so many different also major people in hip hop. Yeah, yeah, it feels, it feels good that they would, uh, you know, hit me up and want me to be a part of what they're doing, man. You know what I mean? So that's that's pretty cool, you know? That Nori one was, that was a fun one, man. You know, with Fat Joe and and uh, Nina Sky and, you know, other dope artists, man, Chingo Bling and uh, I forget who else on that on that, album, on that record, but uh, that was a good time, man. You know what I mean? And um, felt very, you know, uh, it was dope for them to hit me up to want me to do something and represent the Chicano, the Chicano guy. You know what I mean? So that was dope. Do you feel like you've helped forward Chicano rap? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure, man. But I, I would think so. You know what I mean? I would think so. Been doing it for a long time, man, and uh, was able to get some jams on the radio thanks to uh, you know my label and uh, Upstairs Records and John and Joe Lopez, man, and uh, and. Um, so that alone was a, a milestone to, to 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 do, you know what I mean? And um, could I have kept it going, man? Probably, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I kind of just slowed down here and there, you know what I mean? Life is a trip, dude, you know? You go through different things, man. And, uh, and so, sometimes I wasn't sure if I really wanted that for me, you know, that life, whatever. But, but then shit, man, not, nowadays, I mean, that's just who I am, you know? I know that's what I, I know that's what I do and that's what they know me for. And, and I got a lot of respect for it too, man. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a good thing, man. All to the bueno. Real good thing. All, right now it's all to the bueno, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's, it's a it's a feel good thing, man. I, I took my son to SeaWorld yesterday for his birthday, man. I got spotted there. Fucking took pictures with a bunch of people there. And went to Target this morning, took a picture with someone there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it's just uh, getting noticed a lot, man. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's just a crazy thing, man. It's all happening all, all over again, like 2005, you know, if not even more now, you know. Yeah. But um, I think uh, I think Latino rap, Hispanic rap, Chicano rap, they all seem bigger than ever to me right now. Yeah. You know, and I mean, just global superstars are coming from Latino culture. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Like, I've, like Peso Pluma is blowing up right now. Oh yeah, yeah, He's and I see him doing them, doing them uh, concerts with Bobby D, man. Shout out to Bobby D, man. Um. Sold out arenas, man. That's dope, man. You know what I mean? Those some big ass concerts, too. And my son likes it too. He'd be listening to him and singing the songs and everything, man. So hey, thank you, Peso. You know, thank you for that, man. I've uh yeah, that's some dope shit, man. And uh congratulations on everything, man. Um uh, um so yeah, real dope, man. Pretty, yeah, way dope, way dope. I've done some things too with uh some dudes from Mexico. I sat on, I did something with him a while back too. Yeah, that was a real collaboration too. And Oh, shot, a, shot a video with him. Yeah, Sakan, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm down to do things, man, with, with people all the time, man. You know, just depends on what it is, you know. But um, Are you more in a 
in a more creative space now? I mean, like just thinking about this logistically, right? You just said uh, you'd gone away for nine years, and yeah. now you're now you're back and you're out. Do you feel like you want to drop more frequently? Do you want to collaborate with more uh, people? Yeah, man. I mean, it's, I guess I guess what it is now, man. Like, uh, I guess when I first signed and everything, it was a uh, it, it was a, it was uh, it used to be fun. And then it became like, I have to write these giants for this album. I have to get this shit done, you know? And that, we got a deadline coming up, like this and that. So this also the bueno, there was no pressure at all. You know, no pressure at all. So when I when I, when I, sh when I showed my boy the the, the, the the jams, he liked them all, you know what I mean? So fuck, dude, these are dope, dude, they like clean. Let's put them out, man, we ready, you know what I mean? So let's, uh, let's do it, man. So we did it and it was, I guess that was the best part of it. No pressure back to the the fun of it and just uh, writing what I want to write and, and and uh, being able to take my time with the uh, with the jams and make sure they come out, you know, like like with perfection, you know what I mean, a real clean sounding, you know, and you know, and fingers did his job on that man and just make sure I was I was sounding clean on that mic, you know, and um, everything was already written and uh, ready to go, and you know, I didn't waste nobody's time, and uh, and we we knocked it out real quick, man, you know, ten jams real quick. Well, we knocked out eleven jams, but we couldn't get the other sample cleared, man, so that one didn't come out yet. That's a good one to leak. Yeah, it's a one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, um, that's all I have. Is there anything you want to add or share? Is there anything you want to let people to uh, point uh, yeah. people towards? Or yeah, like man, that? I guess, uh, I guess, man, just uh, just be good people, man. You're gonna If you want to try to do something in life, man, no matter what it is, I guess, man, uh, don't burn no bridges, man, and uh, be good people and don't step on nobody's toes, man, because... It could bite you in the ass 20 years later, big dog. And, uh, you know, I hate to be the one to say I told you so, but I told you so, you know. But uh, <laughs> but um, just be good people, man, and treat people right, man, no matter what what, what you're doing, man. And uh, don't let no one change you and change who you are, man. And uh, and everything should be fine, man. Everything should fall into place if you're good people, you know. And um, that's about it, man. I just show love to everybody, man. And if you see me, if you see me, if you want to be cool, man, say, what's up, man? I say, what's up? I'm cool, dog, you know what I mean? And, um, and that's about it, man. If I see you around, say what's up, hey. Say what's up. And it's also the, and it's also the bueno, man, from here to LA to San Jose to Sacramento to every, you know, to the East Coast and back and fuck, hey, man. It's all love, big dog. And um, like I said, man, brown pride, homeboy, no matter where you're from, I don't give a shit, hey. Just, uh, it's all about respect, hey. That's what it is, man. So I respect you, you respect me. And it's also the bueno, your homeboy, little Robin, I'm out, hey. Yeah.